Good morning. How are you guys? Happy Monday. Coming to you live from the backyard again. Um, Cause you know, I love the backyard. Um, and today we're gonna continue talking about David. So I hope you've had a great weekend. Good to be with you guys this morning. I know many of my friends are traveling again today. It's summertime, that's what we do, right? We either travel or go to the beach. We live on the Crystal Coast. Um, and it's funny how many people go to the mountains in the summertime that live at the beach, right? So we all go different directions. Um, but I hope you had a great weekend. Can you hear that? I think there's a deer in the woods right beside me, making all kinds of noises. And there's some puppy dogs. Can you hear the birds? I can hear them. Yep. Let me know if that deer runs out behind me, okay? Um, they like to sleep right here in the edge of my woods. Oh, and we have a squirrel right here overhead. So, you know, when you're outside in God's creation, there's no telling what you might see or what might happen. So, um, we will enjoy our devotion time with creation. How cool is that? So, what did you do this weekend? Did you go to worship on Sunday? Let me tell you, we had a great graduation weekend. So this was the big weekend for graduation, right? And so the graduation service went great. Um, we had six girls that we recognized yesterday. Um, so it was a great, great Sunday. The message from Pastor Kevin yesterday was wonderful. If you haven't, if you didn't stream with us yesterday, I encourage you to go to the church's Facebook channel. Uh, I'm sorry, YouTube channel, we're on Facebook. Go to the YouTube channel, Cape Carter Baptist Church, and listen to the sermon. Watch the sermon from yesterday. It was amazing. The music was great, and the message was really wonderful. God was speaking in the house yesterday, and so um, you could feel the Spirit all around, and it was just a great Sunday. So I encourage you to, to go watch and, and see what you can get from it. I got a lot from it. So we're blessed to have such an amazing pastor who brings the Word every Sunday. Um, he does a great job with that. I love to hear him preach and teach. He's great at both of those. So today, our devotion is going to come from 1 Samuel chapter 30. So last Friday, we were in 1 Samuel 26. Today, we're in 1 Samuel 30. Still talking about David, right? Um, sorry, I think I had a little ant crawling on me. Um, Today's devotion is called The Raid. And again, for those of you that maybe just started, we're reading from Amazing Stories for Young Believers from Dave Streller. We've really enjoyed this. And so, I'm not sure I say his last name right, but, oh, sorry guys. My mount decided to let the wind blow it over. Hang on. Let's see if we can get back straight again. The joys of being outside, right? <laughs> it's great unless you're streaming. Just kidding. So, Today's word, the raid. Here we go. One day, when David and his men got back to the town where they were staying, they found a surprise. They found that the Amalekites had attacked the town. They had burnt everything and taken the women and the children. David prayed and asked the Lord, Shall we go after the raiders and will we catch them? The Lord answered and told David to go after them. So David and his men set out to find the Amalekites, but along the way, some of David's men were too exhausted to carry on and stayed behind. The others went on and attacked the raiders, taking all their possessions. They also rescued their wives and children. When those who had gone on to fight got back, they didn't want to share what they had brought back with those who stayed behind. But David said, everyone must get the same. Those who guarded the supplies must get the same as those who went into battle. So the question from this devotion today is, is everyone's work for the Lord equally important? So see, these guys that went off the battle, well, they didn't feel like they needed to share because the other ones stayed back in the town. Well, those in the town were doing an important job too. They were guarding what was left. And so is everyone's work for the Lord equally important? Let's see what it says. Do you think that David's defeat of the Amalekites was more important to God than looking after sheep? Hmm. We may think that a shepherd's task of defending sheep against wild animals is not as important as defending a country against the enemies. Yet to God, the most important thing is not what we do for him, but whether we are obedient 
and faithful. God was pleased with David, whatever he did. So let me read that little part again, because I want you to think on this today. To God, the most important thing, hang on, the wind blew my page. The most important thing is not what we do for him, but whether we are obedient and faithful. So see, we can do a lot of wonderful things, but if it's not in obedience to him, even though it's really good things, well, that's not pleasing to him because it's not in obedience. We're not being faithful to him. So we can do really good things, but if we're not doing what he's asked us to do, if we're just doing, let's say, what Kim Jones decides she wants to do and not listen to God, well, that's not as pleasing to him because I'm not being obedient to him. So can you think of a situation where you decided what you thought was best and it was a really good thing to do, maybe even doing things for the church or for a ministry, but if it wasn't what God had told you to do, was it in obedience? Obedience is so, so important to God. So, I encourage you to think about that today. Are the things that you're doing obedient to Him? Are they being faithful? Think about that. Hey, there's Sydney Page. Good morning. Hey, sweet girl. Good to have you with me this morning. Um, so I want us all to think about that today. Because you know, I've told you before, I am real good at getting busy doing really good things. Right? Because I am a doer. But if I'm not doing those things in obedience to God, then are they really what they should be? The answer is no. And I have to check myself a whole lot. And I have to ask God to search my heart because I want to be obedient. I want to be obedient to Him. I don't want to just be busy. I don't want to just be busy doing wonderful things. I want to be obedient to Him. And you know what? Being obedient to Him sometimes means resting. Seventh day, what did He do in creation? He rested, right? Taking a break from what we usually do. That's obedience. He tells us we need to take a break from things sometimes and just be still. Be still and know that I'm God. Are we being still and spending time with him in the word every day? Because that's obedient. Now, listen, I can use an example right now for you. Summer Bible Adventure is next week. It starts on Monday. By the way, no chapel next week because we'll be doing Summer Bible Adventure twice a day. Um, but there's a whole lot to get done this week, right? And I can be busy, 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 busy. But if I'm not spending time in God's word every day, I'm not being obedient. And all that stuff is wonderful stuff that needs to be done. It is great. We're going to have a great week of Summer Bible Adventure next week. But it can't take the place of things that I need to be doing for me and God, our relationship, right? Spending time with Him, being obedient to Him. So, what is going on in your life that you're tempted to let take the place of something you need to be obedient to God with, like spending quiet time with Him? Great question, isn't it? Okay, so let's see here. Let's see what that reservation says. Um, each of us has been given a task in God's kingdom. When we do it well, God trusts us with another, maybe bigger and more difficult task. When David had proved his faithfulness and courage by looking after his father's sheep, God knew that he was ready to look after his people. So see, God pro uh, David proved he was faithful to God. He proved his obedience to him. And so then he gave him bigger assignments. I mean, he becomes the king, right? So see how important that is? Listen, we're reading in Leviticus right now. Leviticus. And want to talk about obedience? How about the two sons, the two priests that came in and didn't sacrifice the way they should? done. They died because they didn't follow instructions. They were not obedient to God. Now, maybe they thought what they were doing was great, but it wasn't to the instructions that God had given them through Moses. And, and so it's so important to be obedient. So listen, don't let 1 Samuel be the only thing you talk about from the word today. 
Go spend quiet time with God. Be obedient to Him. Because here's the thing. You may not hear what He's telling you to do clearly because you don't get still and listen, right? Guilty. So go be still. Go be still. Spend some time talking to Him. Spend some time in His Word so that you can be obedient to what He is telling you to do. Our choices affect everybody around us, not just us. Our choices affect not just this minute, it affects our future and it affects other people's future. So be obedient. Most importantly, our obedience affects our relationship with God. He doesn't stop loving us. We don't lose our relationship with Him, but we're supposed to be obedient if we want to please Him. So go spend some time with Him so you know what He wants you to be obedient in, okay? Hey, don't forget Summer Bible Adventure next week. Did I say that already? Huh, I'm going to say it a whole lot this week. Summer Bible Adventure. If you haven't registered yet, you can go pre-register or you can wait and register when you get there, but you got to stand in a longer line. So I would go ahead and pre-register at ccbcnow.com. Summer Bible Adventure. It's our version of VBS. It's VBS like way hype. Okay, hyped all up, not a regular VBS. Um, it's going to be amazing. And that's all I'm going to tell you about it. We are doing Concretes and Cranes. I will tell you that. We are building our, our faith in Jesus. And let's see, what else can I tell you? Oh, three-year-old to first grade in the morning, nine to noon. That's right, three hours, nine to noon. And then in the evening, second to fifth grade, six to nine, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Come on. And it will be streamed. Nighttime will be streamed. So if you don't get to come in person, you can still join us at night on online at the church's YouTube channel, Cape Carter Baptist Church YouTube channel. Okay. All right. I hope you can join us in person. If not, join us virtually because we are going to rock it out next week. Okay. So go be obedient and Hey, let's be united in the passionate pursuit of the next generation. I love you guys praying. You have a wonderful day. Remember you can send me prayer requests. Even after chapel, message me, put it in the comments. Let me know what we need to be praying about. Okay guys. All right, here's my kissing hand. Hold on, I gotta let go of the phone. Love you guys. Let me see your kissing hands. Thank you. I love you guys. I'll see you later. Bye.